summer fruits. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the Tomintal Portwood finish. 15 years here on my cask. 46% ABV, uncolored and unchill filtered and a hefty price tag of 90 euros, pounds, dollars, whatever. Um, this is a successor to the 12 years old Partwood finish from Tomintal and there's another one I think in the Oloroso Sherry finish of Tomintal and uh, this 15 year old is a limited edition with 5820 here on the label and this bottle is the 4642 42nd of those um, and uh, I had the 12 years old in the past unfortunately I think not in English language uh, and it was one of my well real favorite because I like the portwood finish Uh, if I have to choose from sherry, port or Madeira as a wine, then I typically prefer the Madeira. Madeira, Madeira, Madeira is so much better than beer. Um, then uh, I like the sherry and at least I like the port. And uh, with the finishing or with the maturation in casks, I typically prefer, sorry, <coughs> I prefer the port. Uh, then the sherry and at last mm, sherry and Madeira, quite the same. Um, yeah, and here they say a limited quantity of Tomental 15 years old has spent the concluding month of maturation in port pipes. The concluding month. So they do not say or tell us how many months it was in the casks. Uh, with the 12 years old, I think it was quite a long time, 15 months or so. Yeah, um, this process of finishing bestows on the whiskey refined characteristics, most notably tones of fruity port sweetness. And in the back there is uh, there are tasting notes, and the first is color, no tasting of color, uh, rose gold. If I look at this, it's, it's amber, it's far darker than gold. Uh, nose, summer fruits, strawberries and blackberries, tempered with some toffee sweetness and cigar box spiciness. I'm no smoker and I do not like the smoke in the air. I like smoke <laughs> in whiskey, but not too hefty. Um, 40, 50 ppm is maximum for me, uh, but I like tobacco uh, in a fresh opened uh, tin pipe, pipe tobacco in a tin or in a cigar box you open very fresh not lighted uh, so I'm, I'm no smoker and I do not like the smell of, of burning tobacco at all but the, the cigar box spiciness I like a lot palette lush clean malt modified by fruity sweet port and some spicy oak notes uh, finish full and rich with lingering herbal spices and toffee sweetness Yeah, so I said, uh, as I told you, that the portwood is one of my favorite or the favorite finishing cask um, because it gives so, so much fruitiness <clears throat> in a whiskey. And uh, the most often used uh, port casks or port grapes. Um, Grapes in port casks uh, are the tawny port and the ruby port. And filling the whiskey in the glass, pouring it in, it shows a light rose tone. So here you see it's the red color of the port. Wonderful. Oh, summer fruits. It is strawberry, blackberry, black currant everything is in and some caramel sweetness and the 46% ABV is well combined into it so there's no alcohol sharpness at all 
Uh, Tumin Taol is called or calls itself the gentle drum <clears throat> because they distill so carefully. Uh, there are a few exceptions to this. It's the PT Tang, uh, which is quite smoky. I had that one lately. Um, and the old Balantron, which is very, very smoky um, and up to 55% in, in strength. Uh, but this one belongs to the gentle fraction of the whiskey. Light vanilla note, not too strong. It's more toffee and fruitiness, hefty fruitiness. Oh, more intense in the mouth, hefty, peppery in the front, showing the full cask and mouth-watering. Oh, a second gulp. And no bitterness, so the finishing period had been quite short, so that not the tannins and the bitterness uh, could develop in the whiskey. So this is a quite medium, uh, gentle finishing. A lot, yeah, a lot smoother than the 12-year-old had, which was quite intense in, in the oakiness. So this one is shows peppery, shows spiciness. Now in the aftertaste, well, those herbal spiciness, uh, but also the sweetness of caramel. It's a wonderful one, yeah. The price is quite hefty with 90 euros. So the 12 years old uh, had been 50 which is reasonable priced from my point of view. 15 year old for 90, mm, quite hefty, quite steep, but it's limited with the number of bottles. <clears throat> Perhaps they, they can sell it for that price. <sighs> Uncolored. Until filtered, ah, oh. mm. full and intense. So this is a whiskey. I call whiskey. It has an age. It has a color. Oh. It has an ABV, forty-six percent. Not that weak. So there's some uh, possibility to dilute it down to forty, probably. And the bottle is heavy. It has a thick glass bottom. So this represents a value. You can give it as a gift to your friends. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends and give your comments in our whiskey database on whiskey.com.